What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today we have discovered a secret quest in Layer 2, and I was right. I know some of y'all were talking trash about my ghost theory, but it was ghosts all along. Follow me and check out what secrets Layer 2 has to offer. With no specific initial step, we came across a lost diver who was certainly dead or doing something weird. As you can see, we're fully maxed out and have cleared Layer 2 several times, so maybe this has to do with starting the quest. We see this Tyran Arch Diver, that's a new title, at the spawn of Layer 2. She claims to be the only survivor of an expedition and is astral projecting herself from a prison down below in New Cursa. From here on, we make a promise to save the girl Mendacia, but is it safe to trust her? We clear Ethron and head back up. Claris, the mother of lights, talks to us about our newfound friend, and we question the position of this archdiver. She claims that this archdiver has an inflated ego, or that something much worse has happened. Claris warns us of this ghostly girl, but we gotta save Mendacia, like we promised her. After completing a run of killing Ethron, we revisit the caves down below and see a ghostly figure who is Mendacia. She's surprisingly annoyed at how long we're taking, but reluctantly agrees to share her name with us. We give her our name, and she confesses that she's literally starving out here, so let's save her quickly. When we finally kill Chaser and make it to Layer 2, Mendacia stands in front of the new Cursa Obelisk and she informs us of the danger below. She teaches us how to complete the puzzle like we're new or something, but obviously, you know, we're maxed out. Before we beat Etheron during our second run, we see Mendacia freed from prison. She's just chilling over here past the exit bridge. We confront her and get a spooky response. She says, You have done a great service, little god seeker. Your screams will echo across eons, and eternity of suffering awaits you within the agony of the gale. It's weird, right? And at the end of all that, we get plus three knowledge, so you know, that's worth it. This is really special for anybody who likes the lore of Debulkin, but there's nothing else. That's all to this quest, and it's very secret, so don't tell anybody, okay? Big shout out to my boy Lunar, who helped me get some of this footage, and you know, really big thanks. Make sure to like and subscribe, and have a good one.